Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Blake Farms here on Farming Simulator 17. Folks, today, today, let me get my stuff back up here. <sighs> Today's almost over with, and we got rain in the forecast, like three days of it. Uh, we're a day and a quarter away from being ready to harvest. Why I shut my engine off? Turn my mowers on. There we go. I already got mowed around the poles. That was a nightmare. I'm gonna hire a worker. And it's Franz. And I give up on trying to change these names, folks. I don't know what's going on. Um... I got the same mod and the same names in on both maps, Long Oak and Nissan. Now I did manage to drop my GPS. Uh, <laughs> I turned that motor off too. I did manage to shrink my GPS box, so that was lucky. Um, I had to go around these poles before I do anything. I decided to go ahead and mow this side. I wish I could mow the ditch. Wouldn't that be awesome if I could mow the ditch too? Not really to leave grass on the ground, but like get the bush hog or something and be able to go down through there and mow that. I think that would be so awesome. I'm going to miss. Ooh, just barely. Now that would probably get all kinds of uh, tangled up over here on this side running like that, but <sighs> we're a farming simulator, but not a real one, huh? And I can't hire a worker, folks, because if I do, he, he's going to stop in between every pole. So uh, give me just a second. Be right back. Alright folks, if uh, this free software, I want to talk about it, I'm using, uh, that one yesterday, I am so sorry about that, that was a nightmare on its own right there, I'll tell you something. Anyway, I got a... Uh, Another one that I'm going to try. I, I couldn't even pronounce the name on both of these, so I'm hoping this will turn out right. If it don't, if it don't, please forgive me. I'm going to uh, go ahead and upload it anyway, just so y'all can see the footage. You know, I don't want none of the footage missed out, like what I'm doing stuff on the farm. But uh, I do apologize for the quality and the watermarks being in the video. Um, now, like I said, uh, yesterday was a nightmare. I apologize again for that. But if this one turns out like that, I'm going to have to stop, folks, until I get me some software. Um, I don't have a job I'm not able to work so uh, I, I'm not going to use that for uh, getting the money or anything but I do have a GoFundMe account and a PayPal account if you can donate I'm not asking you to but if you can donate I prefer you use a PayPal account because it will be strictly better 
uh, for getting all your money, if that makes any sense. The GoFundMe does charge uh, 30 cents per tra transaction and 2.9% um, uh, processing fees for the transactions. So I don't know why they're getting off for doing double charging there, but anyway, uh, GoFundMe is more, I don't know if it's more secure than PayPal. I thought PayPal was the best there was, but that's only two uh, accounts that I have. Uh, I was told to get a Patreon account, but I don't know, last time I looked at it, I couldn't make no sense out of it, but you know how it is when you look at something the first time. Uh-oh, got the pole that time. Alright, I'm going to have to let this guy sit for a little bit so the mower can get ahead. Um, he is doing a fine job over there. But, uh, he's a little slow. A little slow on the turnarounds. Let him get started. Don't back up. There you go. And I could set this guy to about two mile an hour maybe, but I still feel he's going to get run over. So I'm just going to stop him right here. And uh, let's see what we can do about this guy. But don't worry folks, the whole video ain't going to be about mowing. I'm fixing to do some of this off screen. So. Yeah, I like the John Deere version of this wind roller because you can move the front booms in and out. I wonder which one is wider. Let's go check real quick, folks. Uh, I know, I always bring y'all in, into this whole vehicle shop and don't buy nothing hardly. That's the one we got right now. It's 14.8. I wish I had that. Uh, but here's a John Deere one. It's 12.5. Oh, we'll be going smaller. But these arms here, you can fold them in and out. Uh, we get this in here, but it teds uh, as it's going. So, and then again, this in here would be nice too. Um, it goes on the front of the tractor and you put the baler behind it so we would be eliminating the tractor hmm 62,000 48,000 we could sell that and, and get that and I think that's what we're going to do yeah that's <clears throat> We're trying to beat the rain, but we can be able to go around those poles and still be able. Yeah, let, let's do that, folks. What y'all think? If, if you don't like it, just let me know. I'll, I'll buy it back or whatever. I'm gonna park this guy over here. That should be out of the way. I bet it won't be. And we're going to... I need to get that manual uh, attaching. Uh, I'm going to take the PTO shaft off, pull the pin out, let the jack down first. So We're going to hook uh, the magnum up to the wind roller, take it to the store, and we're going to swap out this for the Uden. First I need to call John make sure he's got one up there. Alrighty. Uh, let's see here. Fold up. While we're folding up. John, 
You got one of these guys in stock? <clears throat> yes, Mr. Boo, I do have one. Uh, what color would you want it? We can paint it real fast for you. Well, let's go with blue. All right, Mr. Blue, I should have known you go with blue. <laughs> All right, we, we, we got one. Let's uh, go ahead and get going. Your flashers on, our beacons on, our flashers on. Set a course play route. Must be a cow farm to uh, the market. Trying to watch the road and do this too. <laughs> but in case y'all are new or newer, I did sell the hay. It was like 162 bales or something like that. So um, that's why we're trying to make more hay. Slow down a little bit when I hit the drive button. Stop at the last point. All right, let's let him get to the market with that, and I'll meet y'all over. All right, be back in a second. All right, we finally made it up here, folks. I'm gonna drop this on the cell point here. And you see those little blue tips over there, it's our, our, uh, blah, 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 blah. new wind roller. I almost forgot the name, <laughs> what it was called. Oh my God, I just messed up. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, what was I thinking? No, I still messed up. Unless the 6R can pull oh, the baler. I just messed up. I just messed up, folks. Big time. Is this supposed to go on the front? And it won't go on the front of this tractor. Why didn't y'all tell me that? Well, I ain't to blame y'all. Alright, we're going to send this guy back. I already got the course loaded and stuff. So all we got to do is drive course. Stop at the last. And, um, we're gonna hop over here while he's going. Speed up time and stuff. And go ahead and get our money back on this thing. Whoa, I forgot the doors don't have collision. Alright, $37,306 back. Sorry about that, folks. They got my auto save. All right, thirty-seven thousand three hundred six dollars back. So we're at two hundred thousand again. Gotta get that. I need a, a hundred and ninety thousand to go to get the combine before wheat harvest. So we may be taking out a loan. Let's see. Our pallet. Let's see how. Whoa, whoa! Had a little lag there. All right. No, 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 I don't want to pick it up. I want to see how much is in it. Not full yet, 83%. Um, I know we're going to have to take our loan. Our loan is zero, by the way. I ain't been in here today. Uh, we need to check a few things, too. Let's put that on grass. See where our, crop, our wheat is getting there, folks. And it's getting there. Uh, this up here in field 7 and these two little fields here and this here. See what's left of 4? We're almost done cutting grass. But all the purples are grass fields. Uh, we almost got them done. So uh, our next field that's ready to harvest is 17. I wish I had the money to buy uh, 19. Yeah, right there, 19. Uh, it's canola. It, it's almost ready to harvest too, but I don't know. We don't have the money for that. Uh, livestock auction. There's a sale point right there beside him. We'll get to that here in a second. Um, 
we got the first stage of fertilization on this. Uh, we'll have to spray all of them again. Of course, we got to plow 17 when it comes uh, harvest time. Um, right now, where I'm planning on getting the money is right here. Well, for a honey milk. I think that's honey and this is honey milk. Look like that would be more. Unless this is honey and that's honey milk. Uh, we can sell those beehives and get a whole lot more money. We got uh, distilled corn that we can sell. Uh, Star of the West. So we got money potential here that we need to do before we take a loan out. A uh, loan is zero. So uh, everything's looking good. I did feed the cows off screen. Um, I just didn't do the grass because, you know, they need to get down before I throw a bale in there because I don't want them full like the pigs. Pigs are full. I can't put nothing back in them. So, uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, folks, uh, I think I'm going to get a couple of uh, cows. And you heard me. I'm going to get a couple cows. Uh, like I said, we do have money potential there. Um, we need more cows. Produce more milk. I don't run over nothing. Um, I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll probably get, uh, show these on the next episode. I ain't got time to do that right now. I got more. I gotta try to, try to get, oh, I got a load of corn here. I forgot about it. 65,273 that needs to go down to uh, our distilled corn factory. Um, oh yeah, I was going to do the milk. That's why I, our milk is 49,357, folks. I think we can sell some of it too. So I'm going to... It don't take long to load this truck up. But we'll sell that on the next episode also. Um, like I said, Sierra Wheat Field is still not quite yet. And that's what I'm doing is uh, waiting. I got this strip here to fertilize. Uh, and then uh, that field there to fertilize again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pigs doing good. We need to get some more pigs too. Uh, just to show you real quick. Our beehives are doing the same. Did I show you? I think I already showed y'all this, but uh, yeah. See, look at that pallet's almost full. I just cleared that pallet. That pallet halfway. Look at all those pallets sitting there. That one's almost full, or should I say half? Uh, this in here, ow. It's got three in it now. Got so we got one more to go in that, and four to go in that. So uh, time these get full again, we'll have five houses full, and starting on the next one. Oh, I need I need my uh. Yeah, they can wait. Uh, here we are. Here we are, Sarah is almost done with the mowing. Um, I don't know if that 6R would be able to handle all that. I really don't know, folks. Um, we're going to find out. We're going to try it. Uh, we got our Ted Tedder has come down here and do some. He's done on the, the shorter rolls there. All right, let's hook up to this real quick. Ah, oh, look like our guy's pulling in the cow farm. No. That'd be alright though. We'll have to go get them. 
Let's just run over it real quick. Oh, no, that's just, that's too far to run. That's teleport. Yeah, that's what I thought. Stop, driver. And those five bells, I did uh, uh, shred them. Um, I had to rent another mixer station, put the bells in it, and then unload it on the ground. And then load them into a trailer and then tip them into our silo. But I didn't get the full 50,000 liters off of that. I only got 16,000 liters per bale. And that's because, uh, just like my theory, you know, the cows need a little bit of grass or hay, and you go put one of those 50,000 liters in there. If it only needs 4,000, you lost the rest of that. So uh, that's what happened. I put it in mixture station. Mixture station only could handle 16,000 liters per field. So I lost a lot of grass there, but you know, it would be better anyway because I know it was unrealistic getting 50,000 bales, but I just thought it would be <sighs> nice to have a baler because it was a John Deere. Alright, let's go ahead and lower down our baler. I'm not going to turn it on quite yet. I think the John Deere can handle this. This might be a little slower on takeoff. Let's hook up. Well, unfold this baby. Now, some of y'all probably think this thing is unrealistic, but I have seen one of these on YouTube. Uh, babies are long too. That's what she said. What? 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 Miss Blue. Stop it. Um. Turn on. Turn the baler on. Um. I'm gonna go in the store here real quick, folks. It was a uh, 17.4. Get our GPS here. Uh. Up oh, 17 9, so we're gonna bring it down. Oh, not that much. 17 even would work. That way, I have some overhang. Let's turn this, and we're gonna have to bring that over quite a bit. We'll go around the poles later. Yeah, repositioning here. So I can see that line a little bit better bring it on over again it's about right there we might have to adjust it when we get up there let's try it let's go poop out some bales folks all right got it around the pole there Just try to hire a worker. Uh, I think he's recognizing the poles there and he's turning around. So, uh, can't do a hire worker right yet. But I think this would help us out a lot. We just have to get us a, uh, a different tractor. We might have to put this on the 80, 8530 and put the mower on the case. Um, yes, we can do that, folks, with that mower. That mower, we can put it at the front and back, uh, hook them together where it be one mower. And, um, too bad they wasn't windrow. Now, later on, we might get a big M, but right now, 
right now we're going to have to get a combine more than anything and we're going to leave a little bit on the ends that is totally fine um, we'll come back across after we pick the bales up and pick them pick all that up all right um yeah you can see the balers trying to pull the six or sideways and maybe if we had a seven r or another eight r right, i'm gonna hire a worker now okay that's totally the worker working now which is betty oh got a bell sideways uh, we gotta get our tether going because uh, that thing is wider than this tether, so the tether's gonna have to work overtime. I think our mower's done. I wasn't really paying attention to the hood up there. Now I gotta get past this little strip here, and I think. I can hire a worker back out. Andy, okay, Andy. Uh, Andy, I'm gonna let you have it. And uh, you can see right here, this ain't been tetted, and that has. So right here, oh, that guy's coming back. Oh, there's a mower over there. Look like he's finished. I'm gonna stop this guy real quick, cause uh, or. Uh, Betty, I'm gonna stop Betty because look how wide she is. She's gonna be into the grass up here in a second. Hopefully, the tether will be here in just a second. But, folks, um, I'm gonna finish this off screen and uh, I'll probably just leave the truck loaded or, or whatever. Uh, get a load of bales and uh, leave it loaded so I'll go and see how much bales there is but uh, I'm going to try to beat the rain I love how when you stop the worker it don't shut the uh, the baler off I like it ah, I can't get it to oh there we go I'm going to lower that back down I'm pretty sure it's going to shut off when I leave the tractor anyway. But folks, um, Tater's almost here. Let's see, uh, yeah, it looks like it's uh, all mowed, so that's good. Um, the next episode probably will not be the harvest. Uh, we're going to buy some cows, get them delivered, and we'll probably, I don't know if we'll buy the combine yet, but uh, we'll probably take out a loan and buy the combine and a couple of factories, um, but uh, we'll, we'll see on that part. We got a bunch of stuff to sell. Uh, I'm going to take that load of distilled corn down, and so we'll be making the fertilizer and fuel. i uh, got some things i got to use that fertilizer for. Um, next episode, I don't know if it'll be this next episode or the one where we go do the harvest, but we're going to have a, uh, I done done a shout out for this person, or should I say animal. Uh, well, it's going to be a person. It's going to be a person. It's an animal, but in our books, it's a person. Uh, we're going to do a, a shout out for him. And uh, like I said, we're going to buy some cows. We're going to sell a lot of stuff. And we may or may not get the combine. But the next episode will not be the harvest. We might start the harvest at the end. But it all depends on the time frame and stuff. So. I hate to say it folks but I gotta get off here 
Uh, so I'm gonna do all this off screen here, uh, later. I got somewhere I gotta go. So uh, I have to get this edited if I can. Like I said, I do have a free software I'm trying. And uh, it's, it's different from yesterday. And I'm so sorry about that again. But uh, like I said, if I can get this free software to work, that would be awesome. But if not, um, I'm going to have to quit editing. Well, I won't be able to edit videos. Uh, there will be raw videos. Um, so, yeah, I'll be be able to record but they'll be raw folks I won't have no intro no outro to put on them um, I don't know if I can go on YouTube and still do that or not I used to do that a long time ago but it just it's not the same but uh, uh, having to say that you know if y'all ha have uh, the funds I do have a GoFundMe and a PayPal account uh, that if y'all feeling generous y'all can donate and I will use that for my editing software I'm about 20 to 25 dollars away I haven't checked it today but I'm about at least a little over 20 dollars away from having my money for the license for Femola um, I was using Femola. I like to go with something better, but uh, Vegas Vegas Pro. If anybody knows anything on that, uh, it's seventy four dollars for the uh, middle one, I believe, or it might be the first one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want them six hundred something dollars. I'm like, oh my god. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, I like to get something different that I can do, like different audio tracks and different video tracks, and uh, try to get fancy on editing. All right, a Honda worker, uh, Elizabeth is taking over. Uh, like I said, folks, uh, appreciate y'all coming out. Uh, I love each and every one of y'all. I'm gonna do a lot of this off screen, speed things up a little bit. Well, won't speed nothing up. I just uh. Won't be boring y'all with my boring commendation or whatever it's boring talking. But anyway, like I said, y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later.